Welcome back to Pens and Tea, everybody. My name is Carrie, and today we are talking about a tiny pocket pen, the Pilot Stargazer. I don't have a tea for you guys today. Unfortunately, I am completely out of teas that I have not talked about so far. Um, I do have some on order, so I should be getting those any day now. So for the next video, you should definitely have another tea waiting for you guys. Apologize, that was an oversight on my end. But I do have still an awesome pen to talk about today and I did not want to skip a whole day um, just because I don't have a tea. So let's get into it. So this pen, guys, is awesome. It is a pocket pen, so as you can see, it's a little teeny. Pilot does have another pocket pen called the E95S. Um, which if you stand them side by side, they are pretty darn close in size when um, closed. If you post them both, the E95S is actually a little bit longer um, from you know end to end. That said, and there will be a review of this one coming uh, shortly. That said, they both fit quite nicely in my hand. Um, you do have to post this one if you use it unposted. For me, I can, but it's a little short. Um, for somebody with bigger hands, though, you're definitely going to have to post it. Um, it won't fit in your hand unposted. Um, so you can get away with it with small hands, but for big hands, you're definitely going to want to post it. Um, and then compared to the Pilot Metropolitan, there's the size difference there. So it's definitely a pocket pen. I kind of like it. Um, I went with the, the white finish. You can also get a red, a blue, or a black, I believe. Um, and I'll, I'm going to try my hardest in the close-ups to get the gorgeous shimmer that's on here. It just sparkles. And I guess that's why it's called Stargazer. Um, I went with the white one because I don't own any white pens, but I do own reds, blues, and blacks. Um, but all of them have this amazing, like, sheeny shimmer on it. Basically, the stuff that you want in your ink, this pen has on its finish. Um, I love the feel of it. It's lacquered very nicely. Um, it's just decorated with silver trim. And on the trim line, it just says Pilot Japan. Um, the clip is quite springy. So you're going to be able to use that with no issues. And it is a snap cap. So snap cap, push to post, and you get that satisfying click. Um, I have not had any issues whatsoever with uh, the pen drying out, with the pen skipping or anything like that. Um, I haven't even noticed any ink being pulled into the cap yet. I'm sure I will, just like I do with the Pilot Metropolitan but I haven't so far, um, and that's really cool. Um, it comes with a Pilot Con 50, which looks like I'm half out. <laughs> I have Diamine, Diamine, um, Misty Blue in here right now. So it comes with one of those. It can use the Con 20 as well. It cannot use the Con 70. Um, and you cannot eyedrop or convert it because there are um, metal joining pieces. Um, the nib is, just like any other pilot I've had, phenomenal. Springy, very smooth, writes like a dream. It's a 14 karat gold nib. Um, and at its price point, for Canada, you can find it anywhere between 200 to 250 which is a little bit high for... Um, this I think but that said I really enjoy it and it is a gold nib um, and Canadian pricing is always a bit higher um, American pricing off the top of my head I cannot quite remember but I will have it posted um, somewhere along the bottom um, and it's a, it's a better price it always is in America um, but with any Japanese pen if you order it directly from Japan you will save money however um, I don't like to get into that too much because there's a lot of potentially nasty variables to deal with if you do that. Um, you gotta make sure you go the right way. Um, the only thing about this pen that I would caution people to be aware of, other than the size itself, but it being a pocket pen, I don't consider that a negative because 
it's a pocket pen. You know that when you buy it. Um, so don't consider that a, a negative whatsoever. If you have very large hands, the grip could be a little bit narrow, but again, it's a pocket pen. So if you have a very large pen <laughs> or a hand, you may not want to buy this anyways. So I don't consider those negatives because those are just things that you're gonna have to look for when you are looking at a pen anyways. The only thing, and this goes with every Pilot pen, is that they are proprietary cartridges and converters. So you can't use Standard International, you do have to use Pilots. A lot of people have a hate on for the Pilot Con 50s, which is the one that's in here because it doesn't have the largest ink capacity. For me, I have no problem with them whatsoever. Um, I find them easy to clean. I don't mind that they don't have a very large ink capacity because I change my inks like I change my socks pretty much every day. <laughs> um, so to me, it doesn't bother me, but that is something that you are gonna have to be aware of. Um, I personally, Pilot as a brand, um, is my favorite brand to buy. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven different kinds of Pilot pens and some I have multiple of in within a certain model. So to me, it being proprietary doesn't matter because I have a billion of them anyways. <laughs> um, but that's the only thing that I would say. Um, I really enjoy it. I like the fact that for it being a pocket pen, for it being small, it has some weight to it, whereas the E95S doesn't. This is a very light pen, um, most likely because it's mostly plastic, um, whereas this one is made out of metal. So this does have some good weight to it, um, which I like. But that being said, let's jump into the writing sample and I'll let you know what I think of that. Guys, I absolutely love this nib. I love it. Um, you get great line variation. Um, you can really push it down. I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time because this is not a flex nib whatsoever, but you definitely get that softness and you feel it when you're writing. Um, you know, it definitely responds to what you're doing. Um, and I really like that. It's very soft, it's very springy, um, and the flow is great. Um, like I said before, I have Diamine Misty Blue in here, which I've been noticing is not a, an extraordinarily wet ink um, across all the pens I've been using, but you definitely do get some good amount of ink put down. Um, as with all of my Pilot pens, um, never any startup issues, never any flow issues. Um, it's just, it's great. Um, and I've noticed too, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Mm, sort of. It allows, because it's a wetter pen, if you do put a little bit more pressure down, you're going to see really great shading. Um, and I've noticed that with the majority of my Pilot pens. Um, even with the fine nib, this is a medium. Um, I prefer to get mediums or broads when it comes to Pilots now. Um, as you have seen in the Pilot Custom 74 uh, review that I did a while back, um, I had a fine nib on here. Um, but even in the fine nib, you're able to see shading, which is impressive because typically you won't have that. Um, so I really commend Pilot um, on their nib choices. It's phenomenal. Um, when reverse writing, you're not going to be able to get really anything. Um, it's very smooth, <laughs> but you're not going to get any flow. Um, so don't you know expect that. But I, I don't really get the point of reverse writing to me. But some people like it, so that's why I like to to put it down. Um, but guys, honestly, that's it. I will say I tend to be a little bit biased towards Pilot pens. I have never encountered one that I haven't liked. Um, 
but if you're looking for a smaller pen that writes like a dream, um, then definitely check this out. But guys, that's enough for me today. Um, you know, if you like the video, please subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Friday. Um, if you really liked it, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, don't be afraid to leave it in the comment section below. I do answer them all. And guys, I will see you next time. Bye.